Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome back to Ghost Suburb 2. Previously, after handling some disturbing enemies and hooking some people up with drugs, we found ourselves back in our room in some kind of day loop as Gertrude, our floating eyeball friend, started talking shit. Fuck off. Shall we continue on our meaningful trek to God knows what twisted situation you end up in? I guess. Gertrude decided to stay with me. Hmm. If there's a possibility of multiple endings, I could see Gertrude jumping ship. Uh oh. That's not good. I thought this was gonna be the normal hospital when I got out, but. Yeah, this is a lot different. Looks like some kind of boss down there. Nurse. There is no way down, but that is okay. How many did you take today? What? Pills. Oh, I don't do that. I just like to breathe. You know, breathe drugs. Gosh. Now need some like air. Guilt sapping your constitution now. Teleport pad puzzle. Those are interesting enemies. Unusual patient. A oddly violent patient has weakness of psychology. So Gertrude is not very good against these types of enemies. While OK is, because a lot of her attacks seem to fix psychology. They're almost like those key doors in Super Mario Bros. 2. The desire of the flesh and the packs of desire run in my ferry, and I make no guarantees. Oh, you're actually friendly. Huh. Reckless fool. What if it was a bomb? It's not really an issue if you were hurt. Not to me. What about you? JC, what would have you done if it was a bomb? Pretty straightforward teleporter pad puzzle. I guess it's not really a puzzle, it's just more of a thing, I guess. Well, I'm actually outside. Hey, listen, I love you. I have been watching you through the window of your room. Besides being creepy, have you ever seen me sleep? Well, I shall put it to you the way my bony father put it to me. Even the dead never sleep. What does that mean? Does that mean I'm not really awake? That is impossible. Even when I shut my eyes, I see this place. Sleep escapes me, but I am yet closer to trailing it. Take it easy, sweet cheeks, and try to get some rest while you... You look like shit. Not so much as you do. 
So I've obtained the ancient knowledge that dead bodies look like shit, apparently. And I see some kind of tentacle thing down there blocking the door. I guess Mr. Tubes. In some ways, I feel like this is like a corrupted Pokemon game. It really has that feel. At least graphically, anyway. A sign on the door says, MRHC Utilities. Let's see. I want the sign in here. Looks like there's a skull up there. Depending on how I look at that one skull is wearing a hat. No, it's like a two skulls and something there, like a body. Occasionally, a building is made to communicate. Don't mind me, pal. Oh, and by the way, you can buy a better PDA from the panda store. I think he's a little too gung-ho dressing up like a panda to sell things, but you can't argue with the results. I heard that, simpleton. And you know well my gender. Yeah, I do. I'm just fucking with you. You wish. So is your gender panda? Actually, no, I guess your gender would be Kigurumi, or something like that. <laughs> Hi, okay. I don't remember you at all. So how do you know my name? Lucky guess? It's also on your uniform. So why are you selling things in a panda suit again? I'm glad you asked. It's a sales gimmick. That's straight to the point. It is designed so you'll be like, aww, and buy all my useless shit I get from Midland's discount stores. Finest products in town. Cheap shit I buy because this hospital zone is isolated and doesn't have better around. Actually, well, you're kind of a bitch. Well, only you so far has competed with me in that regard. <laughs> Damn. I have things you want, things you need. So here's the deal. You give me money, and I'll give you the goods. No questions asked. You can't sell. But there are certain items I need that some of the recently mutated have on them. So, to recap, you can buy, not sell. Two, you can get supplementary funds by finding things I tell you to pick up. Got it? Buy local products. They're overpriced and make me rich. I only buy the finest local products from distorted hospital Silent Hill world. Wow, what a bitch. Let's see. Heart start kit. Light PDA. Mental stabilizer. A moment's rest. No mind. An anti-infection serum. Quick set bone device. Inhaler. Anti-Dementia Serum Anti-Maniac Serum Mr. Creep Creeps out everyone around me And a grenade. Pull the pin and throw it. Seems like there's two different grenades. 
a pinpoint grenade, a wood pole, that's wood, a nail bat, infection chance, a eyeball hammer, squishy but effective, and a floor, a entire floor. Crystallized hat, 15,000. I could get a nurse hat. All these items and no money to spend on them. Concentration device, anti-infector. All right. It's not like I like you or anything. I just want your money, that's all. The funny thing is I can't access my menu because I don't have an upgraded PDA. <laughs> okay. There's something strange happening everywhere today. You were telling me. What is going on here? I tried to get into my building beside here, and I can't. Then, I tried to cross over there, and it's all messed up. Can I get upstairs still? If you like dealing with weird things like monsters and screwy architecture... Ah, uh, ah, uh, pun. That's all I need to know. And cut out the video game puns. I guess this is par for the course at the moment. Please. There we go. The housing here in this complex is not co ed, and I think that at some point it's a little over enforced. I get we are here to work, but we don't need to be continuously monitored. You're just too lazy to date someone who lives up a trail not a minute away. Has anyone ever told you that you have one hell of a personality problem? You were so nice when you got here. Yeah, insomnia can kind of do that to you. That and being under attack by constant mutated beings and things. Mr. Status. I have no idea what that is. It looks almost like two traffic cones or two wizard party hats. And some kind of round eye thing in the middle that's kind of closed. I guess they're... I guess it's like a garden? A garden with sharp teeth? They weren't kidding about the whole... architecture, were they? Mutated patient. The result of many mistakes has weakness to physical. That's not much of a weakness. That hurts quite a bit. Oh, well, that's a bug. I believe I have seen enough of this for today. I shall leave you to see out the rest of this. Besides, this moon greets me so fucking bad. Oh, thanks, Gertrude. Yeah, you're a real bro. Sometimes when we are awake constantly, it starts to feel like we are asleep. Cute cat face up there in those bushes. Alice in Wonderland, maybe. Let's see if there's a save point in here first. Yes, there is. Contemplative moon. So you're a never moon with eyeballs, huh? I am the contemplative moon in the sky, 
I see the nothing and I see everything. Well, except what is behind me. And far off, I suppose. So, I guess you already know what I'm here to ask about. What I want. Yes, I am sure by now you know this zone is rapidly falling apart. Even my domicile here will soon fade and become unaccessible. To not waste your time anymore so, however, rid yourself of Gertrude and stop your quest. Desist and rest. Resist and die. This is your fate. I can't. I'll die regardless. I'm being stalked to the point that I can't even rest. I'll do you a service. Actually, two then. I know the end, and I do feel uncomfortable not doing this much. Take this, and go to the saleswoman and get yourself a new PDA. Okay, magically comes into possession of 250 monies needed for upgrading her PDA from a broken piece of shit. Also, to go forward, check behind the sign for a secret entrance to the island. There, you can open the next barrier. Why don't you build a bridge? Why don't you swim? I'm, uh, pretty sorry at it. Plus, I don't want to get all this crap I have wet. Regardless, behind the sign, be careful, and I hope you find sleep soon. I suppose the moon's a bit of a representation of Mr. Sandman. Skimming around the box like a worm on a hook is the Crescent Moon Key. Lazy ass moon, not building bridges for me. The anniversary of unmarked bones lighting the hillside of a war. I probably should have saved, but... You know. Some sort of modified pig has no weakness. Damn it, Gertrude! exactly what I needed you. Still crying. This trauma is too much for me. I'm gonna die in a second. still alive. It seems to be hurting itself when it attacks me, though. Thankfully. Well, that wasn't too useful. Okay, kept together this time. Good. Kind of interesting attack. It's gonna kill me next turn unless I get over these tears, but actually I'm I'm gaining health somehow, I think, or it's just I can't see the text very well. Nope, I'm dead. There we go. The operation was a success. 
fight card. The complete lack of control. I'm wondering if I should have backtracked somehow. Maybe I could have picked up Gertrude for the day. Oh, that's interesting. A save point and a save point. Pretty weird world. So some of the previous ones look like corrupted Game Boy games or something, or like a corrupted NES game, and now this pretty much looks like a Virtual Boy. If Virtual Boy, you know, was hell. More so than Virtual Boy actually was. This is gonna be a long time before I find a new PDA. I should have really backtracked. I think I'm gonna do that. Oh! That's interesting. I recognize his handwriting. It's mine. I don't recognize the aunt entries, though. They are dated to the month before this, which would make it the third month here. It's so blurry, but I remember there was a new patient brought in which the ever more important wards had interest in. I remember feeling like complete crap about something. And then seeing several nurses talking and looking back toward me with grins. I felt far away. Their voices didn't carry to me anymore at that point. Why did I come here, if this sort of thing was going to happen? It's such a tragedy. I was feeling so on top of the world. Me and this other doctor met, and he was so charming. But I was already far away and out of orbit. What's something like this doing here? Is someone just leaving this emotional shit around just to play with me? Sleep feels like just two steps forward, but so far off. The Book of Regret. You don't deserve him. Well, clearly, either I'm the doppelganger or my doppelganger is quite jealous. Oh no. This is not good at all. Yeah, using physical is not too smart, I guess. Should have gone back to the shop. What was I thinking? Oh, actually that thing died pretty quick. I'm either still in trauma, I guess I am, seems like I can't do anything. I guess I'm stuck in permanent trauma somehow. I I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to be or if I'm doing something wrong. There we go. Domino. It was just a very, a very long, traumatic moment. Oh, crap.
a lotus bloom. Kept alive by a moose like Bane connected to a life support system in the ceiling somewhere. Has no weakness. So now I see what's happening. One of them does damage to my mental state. And when my mental state mana goes low, then I constantly go into trauma mode. There's not a good way to restore it, unless I take care of that thing really early. So once I lose up or use up the majority of my mana, then it's just downhill from there. Or... My mental... whatever it is. I'm not sure which one of them actually took my mana and its attack. But... Um, ideally, I guess you'd burst it down really early. Unless they both do it, then that's... that's a bad thing. Good thing they don't have much health, though. Because then at least you have a chance of maybe killing it in between all the trauma. Like that. The word is law retrieved. A moment's rest retrieved. We're on the way. I hated people, but I hated being a person more. We are in a parade of bones clanging. We never sound the hospital. Well, let's get in there and get to the shop. Gained quite a few levels on that trip, but I did use up a lot of items to survive. Finally, I can access my menu now. My brain is equipped with the wordest law. And I could save anywhere. Also useful. So I don't know what items go into reaction and vanity. But for our brain, we have the word is law equipped. For our heart, we have an entire floor. And for our violence, we have an eyeball hammer. Yeah, this is this is a lot different than before. Going down. We're back home. Okay, again, stumbled into a room. Changes. Subtle. But there. She's grasping her hair and her body trying to figure out if this cold is just her or the temperature in the room. Gertrude, again, only stares at her. Their earlier clashes still holding a very tense atmosphere over them. Okay goes over to the bed, completely ignoring Gertrude, the mutants, the entirety of the day. She looks at things to pass time. A lack of sleep becomes a painful knife that keeps on twisting around inside her, a ache that is present like background static. 
Again, no speculation. This is just how it feels. This is the passage of the second day. Have you stared all the ceiling yet? I heard of a man who sat in a cave and stared at the wall until he could make a hole in it with sheer will. I wonder. Such amusing romps in a fantasy is really unbecoming of you. Besides... Now what? You hadn't forgotten to write out a check for utilities, you know, amidst all the commotion. I don't know. I wrote one out and put it on my shelf next to the bed. I have it on me too, it looks like. Strange. You would think in the middle of a catastrophic biohazard event, they would really take it easy on billing matters. Dunno. I guess I should pay that creepy parrot fish thing at the utilities building. I shall depart for today again. I have other matters to attend to. Don't die today. Tomorrow, we have business. If we weren't Virtual Boy before, we are most definitely Virtual Boy now. Seems all the dialogues are the same. There's a new... hole though. So now we have two of these things in here. And that's it for day two of Ghost Suburb 2. So all the enemies so far are medical based. Um, various things that can happen and they all have attacks that are kind of based on stuff like that. It's very Silent Hillish. Like, I'm pretty much assuming this is, like, this person's Silent Hill. Just with a lot more drugs involved and the insomnia theme. I guess those two things can go very well hand in hand. There's also, like, a doppelganger thing going on. I don't know really... I can't really figure that one out. Um, it's possible it's actually Gertrude who's a doppelganger, and that's why the moon wants you to forget about that. And it's also possible we're dead, considering the title is called Go Suburb 2. One other little detail I notice is the thing they brought up early on is also the uh, the whole nurses with different hair color thing. And they all have white hair. And even the male nurses look exactly the same as the female nurses. Their sprites are exactly the same. So I guess, like, it's really not what they actually look like. It's just how our characters see them anyway. Or it's how this world portrays them. We'll see. Anyway... Thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for part 3 of Ghost Suburb 2.